Cody with Prehistoric Encounters. Today's episode is on how to choose a good Syrian hamster. Now, most hamster books would tell you different breeds. I'm essentially just going to be talking about them. There is nothing different from Syrian hamsters to Syrian hamsters. You can call them any which name you want. Long haired grizzly bear, teddy bear, panda bear, black bear, whatever colors. This is your basic um, Syrian hamster, the golden hamster. This is more of a, uh, a, this one's a beige and white or whatever you want to call it. This is more of a golden and white. And then I have a calico in there too. But you have a variety of colors. You, they have some that look like panda bears. They have some that look like black bears. I got a black bear over here in this cage. He's napping. On his back like he always does. Um, and then you got these guys. So, the only real difference color to the color is its color. So, keep that in mind when you're doing it. And this will be episode 8. Choosing a, a Syrian hamster for yourself. Uh, obviously there's not a lot of information because there's not a lot of information you need to know, to be honest. Um, if you play with them and handle them regularly, they'll love you, and if you don't, they'll be more than your usual aggressive. Look at that. They're so cute, so stinking cute, cleaning themselves, sitting on the butt, cleaning themselves. Look at it. So cute. So cute. I love hamsters, if you can't tell. Alright. Well, here's a couple of varieties. You see, they love to chew on stuff, so I throw little toilet paper rolls in there. So this is a very basic, but like I said, there's not a whole lot you need to know about choosing it. Hamsters are pretty laid-back and easy pets. You'll get more information in other episodes. Um... So, I hope you enjoy these videos, and I know that some of them seem a little dry, but um, for the most part, it's really for education purposes. So again, this is Cody Winwalker, and this is Prehistoric Encounters. Thank you, and have a great day.